All right, guys, back here at the Globemaster. And I've seen this question at least two or three times, and I know I looked around for it for a good minute, and I just couldn't figure the damn thing out until I actually saw a video that did it in passing. And that was how to program the damn FMC, FMS on the uh, Globemaster. Now, the Globemaster uses an old, I think, like, old custom rendition of... Uh, X-Plane 9 or 10 FMC. So the easiest way to get this guy working properly is to actually go into Plane Maker and replace the FMC with a brand new FMC. Or I should say the newer stock FMC. And with the newer stock FMC, you'll get uh, much better results. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. So if you don't want to fiddle around with plane maker you don't want to mess it up and you shouldn't really mess anything up obviously you guys want to make sure to uh, make a backup of your plane or just re-download it doesn't really matter uh, so we'll go in here into the cockpit and you need power up obviously I got the power going and here is the flight management system and so to turn it on you basically just click on this guy and it turns it on and it's real bare bones super bare bones so what you're going to do is basically you're going to start at your, your airport. So we're at K and Z Y. And you're just basically going to put in each nav A, VOR, DME, fix, and airport into this. So for example, let's say I want to go to, so I've got my Navigraph here. Let's say I want to um, do the approach into K and ZY. Instead of using the newer FMC, which would allow you to just select the approach, I'm going to have to manually input. So like, let's say I want to go to skate. So then I'm going to have to put in S-K-A-T-E. And what, what you would do is skate to fix. So remember, if it's three, if it's three letter designations, it's a VOR or an NDB most likely a VOR. If it's more than three letters, then it's a fix. Plain and simple. Airports, gonna start with your country's airport designation. Uh, you can put in latitude and longitude. So the first you're gonna put in your airport, then you're gonna use the arrows here for your next segment. All right, and so it's gonna be skate. So for skate, I'm gonna hit fix, and then type in skate, S-K-A-T-E, and boom. It gives me the distance, and it gives me the ETE, which is pretty neat. And you're going to do that for each particular fix or each VOR, which kind of sucks. It's not the best way to do it, but, you know, it's a way to do it, and it works just fine. So if you just want to fly the default, you'll have to put in these um, fixes, and basically just remember that if you're going to a specific whatever you're going to, you're going to have to put in the prefix first. So it's a fix, you got to hit fix and then enter the fix. If it's a VOR, you got to hit VOR, then put it in and NDB, you know, airport, and then you end, end, end with, begin with an airport, end with an airport or whatever you're going to and put it in each one. Um, what's neat is if you want to go to direct something, so let's say you're flying and you're on VATSIM or something and they tell you go direct to a, sp a specific fix that's part of your plan. You can, while autopilot is activated, go to that leg and then hit the D here is direct and it will take you directly to that leg. And then it'll continue on after that, that segment. So it works. It's not the best one, but it works. So that's the default FMC, FMS system in the Globemaster. And then, um, if you didn't know, I'll show you guys here a couple other little things that might help you guys out. Is obviously here's the autopilot. Some important things about the autopilot over here on the left, you've got your COM one and COM two, and then over here just to the right of it, V one and V V one L two V one V L two is for your. Um, your ILS localizer so you can put that information here to try and fly that localizer I've yet to get the localizer to work but you can tune it in here and 
it does show up on your MFD PFD for your slope information and then here you've got your autopilot for your flight directors here in order to get the GPS to activate once you input in a plan you want to hit nav one hold then hit GPS and you want to hit it again and once it turns green it's activated so if we went to the map here you can see we just got this little leg here so if it's yellow it's it hasn't loaded it so you have so you might have to hit GPS again so you hit hold, nav one GPS once it's green it's it's got it you're good to go and then uh, heading hold works just fine uh, altitude hold works fine vertical speed and VNAV or eh, touch and go sometimes it doesn't want to uh, follow my my vertical speed and VNAVs just correctly and then you've got here your uh, auto throttle and you've got here your uh, autopilot on so you got to toggle those to get those guys working and then obviously everything else your speed your heading vertical speed and your altitude work just fine so that's how you guys get the uh, the FMC FMS for this deal to work if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me any uh, comments I'll try to answer what I can this is one of my favorite planes you know I I do a lot of stuff in this I did I joined the uh, US virtual Air Force in order to fly this guy doing missions and I enjoy it you know, it's a little older plane but you can get this guy on sim market for about 14 bucks and it's totally worth it so yeah so I'll talk to you guys later